Well, hello there again. Welcome to Klein Farm Channel. Today I'm at the uh, Airborne Special Operations Museum in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Now I've done a, a short video of the entire walkthrough. I had the entire museum in one minute and did a music with it, but it didn't get very many views. So I'm going to do the entire uh, museum here in a long video. So go ahead and stay tuned for the whole video. Watch until all the way to the very end. I got a big surprise for you. Here we go. Now all throughout the uh, sidewalk out front of the museum here, they have different bricks here with names on of uh, uh, soldiers who've been killed. And uh, my stepdad's is up by the front door there. I'll show you that there. Here's the original Iron Mike statue that was at Fort Bragg. They took it down and replaced it with a newer one. It's the same statue, but it's just made out of a different material. Iron Mike, in honor of the airborne troopers whose courage, dedication, and traditions make them the world's finest fighting soldiers. I remember when this opened up. There's different monuments the whole way around there. And the whole front section here is bricks with uh, soldiers names on them and right there is my stepdad's uh, walk Tyler there. I remember coming when they did the dedication for the uh, when they opened the museum and they uh, did the brick there but there's so many different uh, soldiers and families represented here Here's Medal of Honor. Here's a parachute display. It's the bottom of it. Airborne Special Operations Museum. Over here is a newer version of a parachute. There's a couple of murals on the walls over here. Replica PKM prop. Replica of the Soviet PKM machine gun used in the movie 12 Strong. Russian vodka bottle 
glass drinking set props from the movie 12 Strong. Presso liver, statue replica. Bronze replica of the statue located in New York City's Liberty Park, 18 foot tall. Bronze statue depicts a Green Beret soldier on horseback. Its name is Latin, means to liberate from oppressors. So you can pause the video and read these if you want to. There's the gift shop over there. That's the entrance to go in through the tour. Or that's the exit of the tour over there. Oh, this is closed. Normally they have a um, exhibit going on in here. But, um, they don't today. Like, normally they have like a short-term exhibit going on in there. And you can read all that. Pause it. This is what you see as soon as you walk in. Boomtown, Fort Bragg during World War II. Now I'm going to try to get everything in the video here. There is a whole lot of stuff to read and stuff on the walls. The United States Army was impressed by the swift victories of the Germans, confirming their belief in the strategic potential of their war assault. That's a cool helmet. Parachute helmet. Riddle parachutist helmet. Sergeant John Fessler, 507th Parachute Infantry Regiment, wore this helmet made by Real Football Company. Fessler was killed in action on D-Day, plus four. Parachutist badge. German gravity knife. Paratrooper's utility tool, excellent for cutting parachute lines and untangling knots in the field. The blade falls free of the handle at the press of a lever. That's cool. German MP40 submachine gun. Excellent. An excellent 9mm weapon used throughout the German military forces. The MP40 provided extra firepower in the infantry squad. It's a German Liger Blues. German paratrooper helmet. Parachute Battalion. There's a mannequin in parachute attire. 501st Parachute Infantry Battalion. Uniform of Lieutenant John M. Cole. Uh, 
Powers of Persuasion, World War II poster art. Get them with both barrels. Save your cans, help pass the ammunition. Glare is pretty bad on these, on the glass here, but I'll try to get them. Pictures of them. Pour it on. World turned upside down, war to be won. Eisenhower, George C. Marshall, Henry Arnold, William Ryder. First Sergeant Leonard Funk, getting an award by President Truman. Here's a really cool thing. It's like a miniature Jeep. I don't know the official name for it. I'll see if I can find it here. It's a cool little thing the size of a side-by-side -side. here's a little mini mini bike <laughs> that thing's pretty cool a little Jeep and a little mini bike the Italian Armoto Bolografo Parascooter made by Cushman And here you can read that if you want. Pause it to read it. That's a cool little thing there. Preparing for battle. Testing airborne equipment and techniques. Crossley Pup, an Italian airborne scooter, displayed here were studied by a possible use for studied prop study for possible use during the war. That glare there. The Italian scooter was captured in North Africa by Allied troops in 1943. Interestingly, American airborne units were issued motor scooters, motorcycles, and bicycles, but these devices were rarely developed to the battlefield. Don't say much about that little Jeep there. So that's called a Crossley Pup. Major World War II missions. European theater. Home front, Pacific Theater. North Africa, Operation Torch. We jump to fight. There's another fella. And here's the inside of the plane, what it's supposed to be. <clears throat> and here's the seats he'd be sitting in. Sitting in the seats here. 
and you'd be jumping out that door right there. Here's some more posters down this way. By War Bonds, there's old Uncle Sam. North Africa, 1942 to 43. And up overhead there, there's a big airplane with a guy getting ready to jump out. Full size plane. And right here is the plane I just jumped out of. Here's some more weapons they got from North Africa. Africa Corps uniform, a German. It's the third Zouave regimental badge, French currency. There's an M1 Grand semi-automatic rifle. Standard weapon for World War II is the M1 was not always popular with paratroopers since it had to be disassembled for jumps and reassembled after landing. This one is the Fusil MAS-36. A glare on the screen. French World War II helmet. Airborne operations in Sicily. Eighty second troopers inspect the German Tiger tank near Gala. Went along with General Patton the whole way up around Sicily there. Eisenhower wanted Patton to go up right here along the coast there with Montgomery, protecting Montgomery, but Patton said, I, uh, I don't think about that. It's like that, that limey some bitch do whatever he wants, but I'm going, I'm going to win. You can pause that and read it if you want. German rifle G3340. A version of the German 1898 rifle. This rifle is shortened to mountain troops. Airborne units could use it. There's a German helmet. Luftwaffe helmet. German Air Force troops of the Hermann Goering Luftwaffe Division wore helmets like this one during the heavy fighting against American paratroopers. Fifth Army patch. 82nd Airborne patch. MG 34 machine gun. U.S. Army 2.36 inch rocket launcher. German field telephones. The 82nd Airborne Division paratroopers thoroughly disrupted the communications of the German and Italian defenders in Sicily, taking phone pictures. M1942 parachute is coat. Italy 1943 from Salerno to Anzio. 
Got a whole bunch of weapons in this case. US M1A1 carbine semi-automatic. German helmet with cover. Johnson M1941 light machine gun. Italian Beretta M1934 pistol. First Lieutenant Solomon Weber, 500 Knights Parachute Infantry Battalion, 31st. First Special Service Force sticker. A lot of cool stuff. That has a clip going out the side there. United we are strong, united we will win. Operational groups in action. They have a lot of mannequins and different displays here set up throughout the whole museum. Jedberg operations in France. Suitcase radio. There's some steel knuckles or brass knuckles. 32 caliber Colt pocket pistol. Sten gun. The OSS and o SOE sent the in inexpensive stamp steel British submachine gun to Europe. Large numbers for use by partisans, agents, and soldiers. All enemies on commando missions, even if they are in uniform, armed, or unarmed, in battle or in flight, are to be slaughtered to the last man. Adolf Hitler to General 1943. Fairbane Sykes fighting knife. And here it is like you're in a village in Normandy. Malone, Charberg, Pierre's, Charberg, 30 kilometers, okay. There's the bottom of the plane. Guys, excited to jump out. D-Day Operation Neptune. Okay, Second Airborne Liberate St. Mira Clan. MG-42. Big gun. Compass. It's like a K bar knife. Yeah. 
Cool little design on there. D Day Plus Three, the 82nd Airborne Division crosses the Murderet River uh, here. Rangers lead the way. U.S. Army Rangers at Point the Hawk in Omaha Beach. So he got a rocket launcher in a looks like an M1 Grand, maybe. Yep. I don't know if you could hear that uh, train whistle. That wasn't in the museum. That was from outside. There's a, a train station right next door here to the museum. Fred Gordon carried this knife from D-Day to the end of the war. Have you ever seen the movie? The clicker they used in the movie called the cricket to click it and let you know if you're a friend or foe. Mosin Najant rifle. The Germans captured these rifles from the Soviets in 1941 and issued them to units along the Atlantic Wall as they anticipated and prepared for invasion. Browning automatic rifle M1918A2.2.30. Right here's a guy with a gun pointed at you. You didn't see it. Gotta always be aware of your surroundings. The Battle of the Hedgerows. There's the whole airplane again. Back them up, buy extra bonds. Operation Dragoon. Filthy 13. Now you can stop and read that if you want. It's about Native Americans. Airborne assault in southern France. Field telephone. Operation Market Garden. Avenge December 7th. Holland D-Day, 17 September 1944. Some old buckle boots. British paratrooper smock. Falsham Jaeger Gerrar. Falsham Jaeger Gerrar. FG 42. I dealt a 
I'm pronouncing that right. Balsham Jaeger Gerard. Line Mittel designed for the German parachute troops, such as German parachute army commanded by Kurt Sweden, Sweden supports these battles and Allied Air Force during the Great Army Box. Grand M1 rifle. The present situation is to be regarded as one of opportunity for us and not disaster. General Dwight Eisenhower. Day of infamy. Japan attacks in the Pacific. December 7th, 1941. Yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy, the United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. President Franklin Roosevelt. The rock, a piece of rocky surface of Kreger Island, was taken as a souvenir for its famous combat assault. On 17 October 1944, the Shetty, 1903 A4 rifle, 1903 Springfield, called. a little cartoon. By Sergeant Louis Brown, 503rd Regimental Combat Team. Brown noted that the paratrooper never knows what to expect below. It's a cool looking gun. Type 99 machine gun. This machine gun was the most common Japanese automatic weapon. Nambu Type 14 pistol. The Japanese Army used the Nambu pistol throughout the war. Production quality standards declined to the extent that the weapon became as dangerous as a shooter as it was to the target. 40,000 GIs of the 11th Corps landed on Luzon Island in San Antonio. Army officer sword, Japanese. Almost simultaneously, about 8,000 men of the 8th Army's 11th Airborne Division were put ashore by... And they have a little TV viewing area here. You can sit and watch the uh, movies there. Airborne in the Ardennes. The Battle of the Bulge. M3 submachine gun. Pistol P-38. Corporal William J. Freeze from the 517th Parachute Inter Infantry Regiment captured this Walter P-38 from a German officer. Prayer book. 17th Army Division Patch. Airborne 30th Infantry Division Patch. 327th In Infantry Regiment Helmet. Wool overcoat. Battle of the Bulge. It's an American lieutenant colonel and a German. I don't know his rank. I don't know the Nazi ranks. Well, nuts. I'm not going to read all this, I don't have time, but I'm thinking this is 
like part of the in the movie Patton where um, that story's in there Lieutenant General George Patton Commanding General Third Army decorates Brigadier General Anthony McAleaf with the Distinguished Service Cross. Here's a Jeep coming out of a glider. They have the whole glider in here too. The other side of that. USA 2019 721. Got a little bulldozer over here. There's a view as best I can of the whole thing here. CG for a Waco glider. Pretty sure this is like the kind that they had in Saving Private Ryan. Or they padded the entire bottom of it with too much steel and that's why it crashed because there was a one-star general in it. That's a nice little bulldozer there. Seventy five millimeter pack howitzer. It would load into the glider. Look how big them shells are. Holy moly. Here's the bulldozer in action. Clark Bulldozer was the heaviest piece of equipment used by engineers assigned to World War II Airborne Divisions delivered to the battlefield by glider. The Clark was one of the heaviest loads carried by the CG-4A. It does not look light. Operation Varsity. Airborne assault across the Rhine. Airborne Pathfinders. There's a bicycle that folds in half. And a flare pistol. Glider pilots fired flare pistols to send distress signals to other aircraft. The German Air Warden helmet. British folding bicycle. The British 6th Airborne Division landed near Hemmekeln, Germany. British units carried bicycles like this one in gliders and in containers. Glider pilot wings. ANPPN to Beacon. Thompson M1. Five to seven soldiers made the security team that protected the Beacon radar teams. A weapon of choice was the M1 Thompson. I was thinking that might be the Tommy gun, like uh, oh, Bonnie and Clyde, but I think. I'm not sure. I know the Thompson submachine gun, but I don't know. I'd have to look into that. Rebecca Antenna.
more view of that. All the times I've came, come here, I've been to this museum a dozen times or more. I've never really looked up in there in the cockpit of the glider. I've always been focused on the Jeep. But I'm taking my time here today, going through, making a long video of it. So, get everything all in one. Give you the whole full experience. Parachute.